Champion, Pan Am and World Champion. And Abaru of Japan, a former World Champion in his own right. That being in Christchurch in 2011. He's the one who's uh, closest to picture here on the outside. And Abaru who finished sixth in the 400 metres final. Three medals in Christchurch. Along with that 1500 meters title, he won silvers in the four and the eight. The Asian Games champion currently over 800 meters, and he won silver in the one, the two, and the four. They're also in Incheon in Korea. Steven Tiyoji from the United States. Pan Am silver last year. Three medals in Leon of the World Championships, including silver in the four. First major championship for Ikazu Noda. Semi-finalist of the 400 metres here in Rio. Raymond Martin. Four golds in London. A gold in the four and the silver in the one here so far. And an eight times world champion. Five of those coming in Lille. Enough said. Tomoki Sato, the third Japanese in this final. The 400 metres world champion. Bronze in the 15. And here in Rio, silver in the four. From Spain, currently in Alicante, Santiago Sanz. It's his... Swan Song about to retire. World champion over 815 back in 2006. Former world champion in this. He won four golds at those 06 championships. The Chaya Kutnasiri of Thailand. The reigning Asian Games champion over two and four. Christian Torres from Bogota in Colombia. Silver in the four, bronze in the two in the Pan Ams. Bronze in the marathon in the world championships last year. Josh Roberts from the United States. No global medals to his name. Finished sixth in the 400 meters of the Pan Am and seventh in the 400 at the World Championships. And Leonardo Perez Juarez of Mexico. Silver over 800 meters at the Worlds in Leon and bronze at London 2012, the year before. So it's a big field of 10 for this final. And Raymond Martins, the man they have to beat. Three and three quarter laps of the track. T52. Men's 1500 meters final. It's Perez Juarez, Roberts, Torres, Katanasiri, Sykes, Sato, Martin, Noda, Toyoji, and Ian Abaro. And Raymond Martin is the man to beat, and straight away, the man to overtake. He's only gone about 100 meters, and he said, Right, let's go for it. He's the world record holder, 329.79, and he's sailed away straight away. In this class, he is in a class of his own. And he's looking to absolutely decimate, destroy the field straight away. In the closing straight, a little bit of a movement coming on the outside, which was needed by one of the Japanese. And I think that Sato is doing about three laps to go. And Martin's lead is considerable. Yes, Sato has moved into a clear second. And very early on, Raymond Martin kept up the pressure and the others were happy to let him go. Has that proven costly. Sato has gone into a clear second and is now in hot pursuit of Raymond Martin who's just eased off a little bit down the back straight and as you can see with our head on shot Sato is starting to eat into that margin now. There'd be another 50 metres to the next group and more pressure coming with in third place moving through is Noda but as they come towards the turn to complete another lap it's Raymond Martin in front Sato from Japan, the 27-year-old who chased Martin in the 400 metres to no avail in what was a thrilling final stages of that race. He is getting ever so closer and is getting sick of looking at the back of the helmet of Martin and is now going to move up and sit within a wheelchair length of the leader and is going to stay off the inside line and looks as though he may even try and move up on the outside. And then a long gap to the next group as they leave the straight the next group is uh, a group of six and then a couple of others detached but now Sato takes on Martin as they go down the back section a lap and a half to go in this man's 1500 meters T52 final Sato has taken over the story in the front with Martin in second place and that's interesting that Martin has let him go three Americans in the final three from Japan the main move at the moment is for third place. But at the front, it's Sato. You see that little wheel out in lane two. Not enough room, really, for Martin to make a great break on the inside. Happy to stay in the slipstream for now. And let Tomoki Sato 
do all the legwork. He is the 400 meters world champion in Martin's absence in that race. Last year at the World Championships, 11 months ago, Sato takes the bell, Martin out in front. It's another of the Americans who's coming through in third place. It looks to be Roberts as they take the bell, but they're about a quarter of a lap behind. It's Sato taking up the story. Ahead of Raymond Martin in the final of this men's 1500 meters, T52. Martin, just like Kerwa did in the 5000 meters, T13. Staying right behind Sato all the time. Waiting for the right time to overtake. And the right time is coming now. Raymond Martin's going for it. Overtaking Tomoki Sato. Does the Japanese have anything left in his first Paralympic Games? It's Raymond Martin who hits the closing straight. The four-time Paralympic champion in London. And Martin is going to take the 1500 meters crown. It's his second gold here. Sato gets the silver. 340.64 is a new Paralympic record. It's a real race towards the line. I think it's a Japanese race, actually, between Noda and Ian Abaro. And it was just taken on the inside in the end. But Raymond Martin wins at 340.63. A marvellous Paralympic record. And Sato did everything he could, but in the end was left disappointed if you can be with a silver. Kutanasari has got the bronze medal. But the goal goes to Martin ahead of Sata. And here is coming down the straight Josh Roberts. And uh, he is going to complete the course exhausted, but the crowd willing him over the line. And he's going to get there at the end of this 1500 meters. Great race for third, Karat Nasiri and Iona Baru fighting that out. And you can see there, delighted, he's just got the verdict on the line. Bachaya Kudan Nasiri from Thailand, the 28 year old, but it was all about this man again. And what was a fascinating duel and full credit to Tomogi Sato for taking it to him after two laps. Perez Juarez was in that main group for a long time. He led that main group for some time. And whilst that was happening, there were moves coming. Sands was a prospect for a bronze at one point. And then it was Karat Nasiri and Iona Baru who paired off. And in the straight, it was too good. Raymond Martin who adds to the collection now. His sixth all-time Paralympic title, his 14th global gold. It's his 15th global medal. That lone silver in the 100 metres when he was overtaken by Ian Otter. And just the point about Josh Roberts there, he's never competed at a championship race above 400 metres. And, I mean, the T-52s, they're the... Uh, second most impaired wheelchair racing category anyway raymond martin magnificent overtaking maneuver on the final bend and in the closing straight running clear of tomoki sato 1500 meters distances and the marathon you can just imagine the strain on these athletes more than anything else and the delight for raymond martin there's just that Little bit of peril for him now that he was beaten in the 100 metres, and he almost was in this 1500. And I think from time to time, we all take the great champions for granted that they'll go out and they'll win without considering the quality of the rest of the field, and it is quality. And Sata really ran him tight here, the 400 metres world champion. So Raymond Martin takes the honours, the men's 1500 metres T52 title is his, the Paralympic record, 340.63, Sato the silver for Japan, and Kura Tanasiri, another wheelchair racing bronze for Thailand.